So I've been using Nobara Linux for the past two weeks, and I wanted to share my thoughts on it. Nobara Linux is built as a somewhat easy to use Linux distro for gaming. It's based on Fedora, but the developers make it very clear that this is not a Fedora spin. It is instead its own independent thing. Also the developer described this as a hobbyist distro, warning not to use it in production environments, stating that because it's a hobbyist distro, you won't receive any formal support, which I guess is fair enough. I decided to put it on my main production system anyway. In fact, I am writing this script in Nobara. To be clear, I am using Nobara 39, and I decided to go with the KDE Plasma desktop. So my first attempt at installing Nobara failed. I think it's mostly because I was using an old USB stick, and it seems kind of flaky these days. So then I went looking for my other, newer USB stick, and when I found it, I installed Nobara using that, and it installed just fine. The installer is Calamaris. It's a dead simple installer, and walked me through everything. There's not much to say other than it reminds me of Ubuntu's Ubiquity installer. And if you've used that, you pretty much know what this installer is all about. When booting Nobara for the first time, I was greeted with their onboarding program. I kinda liked it despite not usually caring for new user onboarding programs like these. I guess the reason I liked it is because I'm not too familiar with Fedora, and it's been a long time since I've used it. I updated my system from here, and also installed Kaden Live and OBS. It also gives you the option to install additional software, such as drivers for your Xbox One and Series controllers, fix-ups for DaVinci Resolve, and drivers for your graphics card. Since I decided to go with the NVIDIA image, my drivers were installed automatically. After doing all my regular setup, watch my previous video if you want to see what that's like. I started actually using it. However, I ended up having some issues with Wayland, stuff like plasma crashing and visual artifacts here and there. I'm guessing it's because I'm using the GTX 970, and it's possible that Wayland support for that specific GPU isn't quite there yet. So I switched over to X11, and it fared much better. I've used Plasma 5.27 on both Manjaro and Nobara and the animations seem much more fluid here than in Manjaro. I'm not sure why that is, but the fluid animations are greatly appreciated. Although I did run into noticeable stuttering while streaming with OPS that was not present in Kubuntu with Plasma 5.25 nor Manjaro. Again, I'm not sure why this is, but it's something that's maybe worth mentioning in this review. Nobara's choice of software to package with the distro is very welcome, at least that's the way I feel. Lutris, Steam, and Proton Up QT came installed by default, and this can be invaluable to both new and experienced Linux users. For example, setting up Windows executables with Lutris is very simple. I feel like the inclusion of said software for new users can be a godsend. I set up two programs with Lutris, programs that I regularly use on both Windows and Linux, and they both ran well. Nobara also comes with OpenRGB, which lets you set up your RGB enabled peripherals if they're supported by the software. I don't have any supported devices so I couldn't really test that out. I played a few games on here, and the performance seems about on par with other distros. I really haven't had any issues getting games to run, and it seems to handle them similarly to other distros. However, as I mentioned before, I did get stuttering when streaming or recording video with OBS. As with everything, your mileage may vary, depending on your setup and stuff like that. But if you're thinking about streaming through software, this is just a heads up. All in all, Nobara offered a great out of the box experience for me, in so far as having an easy experience with the Fedora base. Stuff like setting up drivers and installing commonly used apps is very simple. However, I don't feel like it's all that much easier than using something like Ubuntu, regular Fedora, or Manjaro. 
albeit Manjaro does have some issues. Also, I haven't ran into a situation where Nobara would be more helpful than Ubuntu or Fedora. Although it does have newer packages than an LTS Ubuntu. However, if I didn't have any experience with Linux at all, I can see where this distro would have come in handy because it's got so many useful things pre-installed and comes configured out of the box. Do I recommend this distro? I think it's definitely worth a try if you're a new user who's interested in Linux and is also a gamer. However, I generally would advise people to try out distros that are more widely used as troubleshooting could be easier and support will likely be much easier to come by. But do keep in mind that this is a Fedora base and it's possible that what works for Fedora could also work for Nobara. So this has been EC Tech and you guys have been awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.